Marilyn, thank you so much for making time for us. You're welcome. I appreciate it. So you became a commissioner for the, the inquiry into missing and murdered Indigenous women about 10 months ago, and you felt like it was the beginning of a healing journey being involved in the inquiry. Now you've resigned. How are you feeling? I'm um, feeling a mixed emotions. I feel that um, I feel that it was a right decision. I I don't have regrets. I I feel good about the decision that I made. Um, I'm sad that uh, it had to be that way. Um, and there's so many people hopeful about the commission, and so that brings a lot of sadness out. I'm assuming and imagining that it was a really tough decision for you. Was there a moment that it crystallized, I have to resign? It's been coming for a few months, but I wanted to wait. Is there, am I missing something? Have I not tried something? Is there, is there a way that, um, that I think this, could mis this commission could go down a road that I was hoping we were going to go down? And and I just couldn't find one. And so in the end, being in a meeting and hearing from my colleagues that the commission was a spiritually grounded and we were guided by elders regularly, and that for me was a moment of, that's not, that for me, that's not the case. That's not my experience with the commission. And I couldn't sit in the room and say that that is my experience anymore. And so when I felt like my integrity was being questioned, I couldn't do it. What's your concern? What's your main concern? Why did you resign? My main concern is that this commission is going down a tried road. We've been studied, we've been researched, we've gone and looked at Indians and half-breeds and Inuit people for a long time to see what's the problem. You tell us your sad story and we'll figure out what to do with you and we're headed down that same path. And if it worked, we would all be so fixed and healthy by now. It doesn't work. And so how do we change the trajectory of this commission and get it to go down a path where people in the communities are included in that resolution, in that solution finding? And I couldn't see that happening with the hearing process. There has been a lot of concern expressed by families that about the communication gap between the, the inquiry and, and the families of missing and murdered Indigenous women. Why isn't the commission connecting? We need to be engaged with community in ways that say, um, what, what, what does it look like to be on the street? What are the issues? We had people tell us straight up that um, if you want to know sort of who the problems are and how to fix them, you go talk to the sex trade workers. They're going to tell you who they are. This is not a mystery. This isn't sort of a, a, some person coming out of the blue and randomly taking women off the street. People know who they're threatened by. Uh, let's go talk to them. We weren't doing any of those things. There have been several staffers now that have, that have left, including the executive director and now yourself. Lots of Canadians are looking and saying, what's going on there? Why, why are people leaving? People, it doesn't matter where you work, people need to feel like their voice is included, that they're recognized, that their fingerprints are on the work that they're deeply committed to. And I don't think that people are feeling that. What were the key things you were disagreeing on? Mm -hmm. We were disagreeing on, um, for example, the rollout of the hearing schedule. Why are we choosing nine? Where's that number coming from? What's the budget for that? How much money did we spend in Whitehorse? What, where is the list for institutional hearings? Where are those hearings going to be? One of the components that's key that was constructed early in the process was we were going to hear from experts. Can we see the expert list? So I wanted to put the family hearings and the institutional hearings and the expert hearings all in sequence and see where are we going to go, who are we going to hear from, how is this going to roll out, and I wanted budgets attached to each of those. And we weren't, we, I, I didn't have all of that information, and so I wasn't prepared to go ahead with that. There have been some reports that, that your resignation is all about friction 
It's been about friction between you and other commissioners. What's your response to that? My resignation is because I needed to sleep at night about where I thought this commission was going and what I thought it could do. So what, what are we going to learn? If this inquiry continues as it's going, what are we going to learn that we don't already know? I'm not sure what you're going to learn that you don't already know. Some specifics of some people's stories that maybe haven't been told. Um, I'm not, we've, we, there's a lot of stories out there right now that you already know about. Um, that's the most I can give you. So I'm, I can, I'm walking away because I don't see that that's helpful. Whether I get along with my colleagues every day or not, I don't even think my colleagues and I have an expectation that we're going to get along every day um, because there are days we get along and days that we don't get along. At the end of the day, are we coming up with solutions? Are they community driven? Um, and uh, is there an action plan? Because just a report to go on the shelf with my beautiful collection of reports on Indigenous people, I'm not happy with that. There are families who, of, of missing and murdered Indigenous women, who pushed and pushed and pushed this to happen they may be watching and listening to this listening to you what's your message to them um, my message to them is you're amazing we've heard oh we heard from amazing women the strength of the indigenous women in our communities is amazing the reason this inquiry exists in the first place is because a bunch of moms and grandmas got up aunties and daughters and said no more you will take our people seriously. Our women are just as important as anybody else's women. And it's um, right now the one that's standing out in my mind is a woman in the, in, the, in the north who stood up in a courtroom and told the judge and the defense counsel and the crown counsel to stop calling her sister a hooker and to use her name. She has a family and she's loved and people are grieving her loss. And that's amazing and that's taking back and reclaiming and so um, it's really important that they push this it's really it's really important that the inquiry is coming to fruition at all and it's important internationally because we're not the only people that are suffering the chief commissioner uh, Marion Buller Bennett said things are not drifting when she was asked this question things are not drifting we're proceeding when you hear that what's What's your answer? I think that things are going exactly in the direction she wants them to go. Where there's going to be hearings and um, they'll come up with a list of institutions eventually and locations. But, but f I mean, four resignations of key staff, resignation of a commissioner, and things are not drifting? I guess I'm not, I, you know, I guess we need to have a debate about what drifting means. I think. Um, uh, yeah, there's been some pretty key people step down. There's going to be a there's going to be a few more people step down, and there's going to be some people that stay that that feel truly that they want to make a difference. It's difficult work, and we haven't figured out the internal communication mechanism to make people feel heard internally, and it's reflected out, and people don't feel heard externally either. And Prime Minister Trudeau really raised a lot of hopes when he began saying that there's no more important relationship to him than the relationship with Indigenous peoples. Where, what, where do you think that relationship stands now? Well, I, you know, nobody's going anywhere. We all, we're all here to stay. How many times have we heard that slogan? So I think every effort that's made in terms of stepping forward to try to make repair, to try to reconcile, to try to have relationships that are built in a meaningful way is a good experience. And so there, there are many who are saying that, that this is all about symbolism, that, that many of his gestures have been about symbolism and not enough action. Would you, what would you say to that? Well, Justin Trudeau has not been at any of our commission meetings and hasn't participated in any of the decision making, so it would be difficult for me to sort of pin this on our Prime Minister. 
the the fact that this commission may or may not go on and questions may or may not be answered is not the end of it and we're not the only game in town these families the organizations that are working on this they didn't start because of the commission they didn't stop because we got going and they are going to be here long after we're done and they're not ever going to give up i have no worry about that thank you for your time marilyn